I just want to say thank you to the 219 viewers we have here live Hello on again. Twitch very early in the morning. Also, Jedi Master Killer, thank you for subbing for three months in a row. Appreciate you. We're about to sit down and watch the Pokemon Sword and Shield Nintendo Direct. Roughly 15 minutes of new footage and content, the latest uh, Pokemon game for Nintendo Switch. Uh, in the last Direct, we we got um, the three starters, Grookey, Sobble, and Scorbunny. I'm torn between Scorbunny and Sobble because I really like Sobble. I, I, I'm, I'm torn between them two initially because I typically go with all the fire starters, but at the same time, Sobble looks so adorable. And I, I really think I need to see the other evolutions to make up my mind, but... Um, like I said before, I haven't played a Pokemon game in years. It's been ages. The last Pokemon game I played was Gen 3, the Hoenn region. Um, I heard like other games were really interesting, like Pokemon Platinum. A lot of people consider that one to be like one of the best in previous years. Uh, and this is going to be my first Pokemon game since then. So, um, you know, we got information on the Gala region, um, kind of it's, uh, I guess a little bit of its inspiration. Uh, we got to look at the three starters and that's really it. We got a little bit of gameplay. So I, I really hope today we get some, some new early Pokemon, like we always, like uh, some early bug types, some early bird types that we're going to be catching. Um, maybe give us a look at the cover art of the game. If there, the, if there are going to be legendaries on the cover, um, potentially, uh, the, the other evolutions of the starters, because, they're not going to show us anything at the E3 Direct since they're doing this one now. And I don't really see any other opportunity, maybe one more Direct before the game launches at the end of the year. Also, a release date would be great so they can get pre-orders in and all of that stuff. But uh, but yeah, we are one minute away. I am so excited. Um, but yeah, uh, I again, I appreciate you guys all being here. We're one minute away and let's go. How's the audio? Welcome to Pokemon Direct. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Yo! Let me know how the audio is. Today, oh, hold welcome on. to Pokemon I would like Direct. To provide the latest news about the Pokemon Sword. Okay, there we go. Pokemon Shield games. To begin, oh, my screen. Look Sorry. At this video. <laughs> my bad. Okay, it's uh, Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. All right, here we go. My bad. I done goofed. We got trains. Game footage not final. Audio's good, nice. Oh, Sobble, Grookey! Score Bunny, okay, type advantage. Oh, never mind, it's just showcasing all three. Yo! Wow. Oh, some new waifus, some old ladies. Oh, what? Oh, what? Yo, that looked like a uh, Marie, like a different sheep Pokemon. Yo, music, let's go! <laughs> the free Is that a new one? I haven't seen Pokemon in forever. All these Pokemon are new to me. Wow. Oh, there's a bear. Beware. A Hippopotas. Rhydon. Uh, Rhydon. Um, Golurk. Butterfree. Uh, I can't. I don't remember all of them. A Tyranitar. Uh, my loading. Wow, look at this, dude! Am I playing Breath of the Wild? An open world Pokemon game? Holy shit, this looks sick! What is this? A what is this Gyarados? What is this wannabe red Gyarados nonsense? Mega! Ooh. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Raids? Is this a raid boss? You're you're catching gigantic Pokemon. Okay, so everything is. What is happening right now? Okay, so are these the gyms? Yo, this guy looks freaking swole AF. Oh, uh, camera. What? What? Yo, Mega Grookey. <laughs> Yo, Grookey Gang, where you at? <laughs> what the hell is happening right now? Oh, that guy had a Charizard. He's automatically my favorite. What the fuck was that? 
Hello, I'm Masuda from Game Freak. You guys can hear it, right? Hi, I hope I'm the audio's Amori good. From Game Freak. Okay, these guys were in the last video. What did you think of the video? Um, Today, giant Pokemon. We would like to deliver the latest <laughs> news on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Please do. That's so world, weird. Right here from Game Freak's offices, where development Freaking is underway. Giant Pokemon. It's new, I guess. Dude, open world. I just noticed the Diglett the in the ruins. The main character who resides in the Galar region. After choosing Grookey, Grookey Gang, Grookey Gang, Grookey Gang, as your first partner Pokemon, <laughs> Sobble. you will embark I don't know on an which adventure one I want. to become the Show champion. the other evolutions. Your journey will take you through vast and lush grasslands, Dude, towns an in open which you will world? find humans and Pokemon working together, what? and many other locations filled with rich personalities. Is it online too? Were those other actual players? Pokemon battles are the most popular form of entertainment in the Gala region. Oh, is it? There's a panda Pokemon. Stadiums across the Gala region are frequently filled with Ooh. cheering crowds that, that are gathered to swole witness battles ass, dude. between gym leaders and challengers. You see his freaking thighs, dude? Thunder thighs over here. The excitement of these battles is often broadcast on television in wow. the Gala region as well. Oh, that's cool. So people can watch Pokemon battles from home. The most home. exciting part of visiting a new region is, of course, encountering Pokemon that you've never seen before. Yeah, like giant Grookies. To tell you more about some of the Pikachu. Pokemon that reside in the Gala region, I'd like to hand it over to James. Oh, the new Pokemon! Nice! Hey, Jamie. Hey! Dude, what? Hello. I'm James Turner from Game Freak. What's going on, James? I the art director for these games. Wow. There are a lot of never before seen Pokemon that await you. Those in first the four look region. cool. Like the sheep one reminds me of Mareep a little bit. You to just a few of them. Okay. The first Pokemon Who's... I'd like to show you is. Wooloo. Wooloo! This Pokemon's defining characteristic is a sheep. Is fluffy fur, <laughs> which is treasured by weavers in a town in the Galar region. Alright, we gotta protect this one, guys. Popular specialty goods. This Pokemon here is Gossifleur. What is it? Gossifleur. The flower Pokemon. Gossifleur favors places with clean air and water. Wow. And its pollen is said to have healing properties. Nice. This next Pokemon oh. is called Dreadnor. Dreadnor. The bite Pokemon. Dreadnor, okay. The sharp the wannabe and grotto. <laughs> edges of its jaw allow it to bite off chunks. Jesus. Of and iron. That's crazy. That its Pokemon looks terrifying. Makes it a difficult Pokemon to tame for Jesus. all but the most experienced trainers. All right. This Pokemon that can be seen flying friends. steadily through the sky <laughs> is called. Corviknight. Corviknight. I want that Pokemon so bad. As a flying taxi, which will take the player back to any town it's a mount? he or she has previously visited. A taxi? What is this nonsense? As many of you that bird needs know, to be flying some high in the sky. Evolve, changing their appearance and becoming stronger in the process. Please show the starter evolutions. <gasps> Gossifleur no is one of these Pokemon. What? When Gossifleur evolves... Oh, we're getting evolutions already? Whoa! It becomes a dandelion. Eldegoss. <laughs> Eldegoss. As you can see, there are now small seeds scattered across its fuzzy head. It just births more Pokemon. These seeds are said to promote growth in plants and can revitalize both people and Pokemon. Interesting. That's kind of cool. We're That's getting evolutions cool already too. Time. There are lots more Pokemon living in the Gala region for you to discover. Wow. Of course, you can look forward to finding we got five many Pokemon new Pokemon you're already familiar with. Five new ones. Hey, I Axu! I hope you're as excited as we are to encounter the amazing variety of Pokemon that inhabit that's, the Gala region. That's the number one thing I wanted, new Pokemon, and we got it. I wasn't expecting an open world Pokemon game like... Dude, this is like Breath of the Wild! Meeting lots of Pokemon is one of the thrills of the adventure. Hell yeah! And where you will find the widest variety of Pokemon out of anywhere in the Gala region is Ooh. in a place called the Wild, wild Area. Wild Area. Uh. This wild area stretches between the wildy. cities and is filled <laughs> Guys, with abundant we got it. nature Runescape's as far back. as the eye can see. <laughs> Different Pokemon I'm can appear calling depending it the on where you are and what the weather is like. Meaning there will be new discoveries for wow. you each day. Dude, what? Some Steelix? of you may already have noticed, but while adventuring you through can this catch area, you in have the wild? control over the camera. Allowing you to better search oh, for that's items awesome. and Pokemon. Search far and wide in the tall grass, in the skies above, oh my and God. even in the lakes. For you never know what you might find.
Yo, this is literally Breath of the Wild in Pokemon. In certain locations in the Galar region, a new phenomenon can be triggered that makes a Pokemon giant in size and gives it incredible strength. Yeah, please this tell us. This phenomenon is called Dynamaxing. Dynamax. Dynamaxing opens up new possibilities in the heated battles performed Just by trainers and their Pokemon. Just destroy whole cities. <laughs> for more details, what? I would like to turn it over to Iwao, the All planning right. director for the games. Dynamo Dynamax. Right, this is a little ridiculous, I will admit. Like, you're gonna kill your trainer. Hi, I'm Iwao from Game Freak and the planning director for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Nice fish. Let me tell you more about the new Dynamax feature. Please do. Will surely bring about all new strategies to Pokemon battles. <clears throat> okay, let's see this. Pokemon from the Gala region can Dynamax to not only become massive in Max? size, but also boost their power. Hello? OP Mega Hacks? All the moves they know turn into powerful max moves. Oh my god, like literally one shot attacks. Imagine Dynamax a giant Pokemon fighting a tiny battle. Pokemon. However, the Pokemon will revert to normal after three turns. Oh, okay. So, you can like sweep you need a to team? choose wisely when to trigger it. Wow, that's kind of cool. Mastering Dynamax will be key to becoming a full-fledged Pokemon trainer in these games. I can't wait to see this shit go down in the anime. Remember that wild <laughs> area we told you about? If you connect to other players... Imagine a Groudon mega-sized? Are you fucking kidding me? One of these new multiplayer features is called Max Raid Battles, in which four Pokemon trainers can join forces to challenge wild Oh, Dynamax wow, Pokemon. so it's a raid. Yeah, Max Raid. Sweet. In Max, Max battles, Mega the Wailord wild Max Pokemon keeps its giant form for the entire battle. Jesus. Not only that, it also has special powers that make it an extremely formidable opponent. Only one of these four uh, players 4B1? who have teamed up for the Max Raid battle will be able to Dynamax their Pokemon. Dude, I literally battles. feel like we're playing so Pokemon Breath of the Wild and Destiny. On these powerful wild Pokemon. It's like we got raids, we have open worlds, we got Pokemon. If you and your allies That's manage crazy, to be victorious. Man. You will get a chance to capture the Pokemon in a truly dynamic catch sequence. Hey, you see what he did there? Dynamic. It's a the pun. Pokemon that you can take on in max raid battles also vary depending on where you are in the wild area and hmm. the state of the weather. Among right, these so you're gonna need a four-man squad. That can only be caught after you defeat them in max raid battles. So okay. we hope trainers will join forces and test their skills against a variety of Pokemon. <laughs> That's interesting. It's a new mechanic. Max Raid Battles feature strategic cooperative four-player gameplay against a single Pokemon. That's kind of cool too, especially since like Pokemon it's going to cause you to like think your strategies and pick a, a particular Pokemon for the battle. It's fun to use your Nintendo Switch system. And you're using it on the Switch, the best freaking Nintendo system ever. With friends in person and experience the excitement together. You can also connect with other players over the internet to enjoy okay. playing with other trainers from all around yeah, the world. Yeah, you need that online connect, that so Nintendo Switch online Max subscription. All sorts of other players. They know what they're doing. Yo, who is that guy? He has a Charizard. Next, I would like to introduce some of the people you'll encounter yeah, on your adventure. Yeah, new characters. Who's this guy? This guy is the greatest trainer in the Galar region, and also the current champion. Come his on, name is Leon. Leon. Of course, his in a name's region Leon. Where Pokemon <laughs> battles are so widely enjoyed. His undefeated oh, record God. in official matches is all the more incredible. Yeah, he's about to take this this his L when I'm is done with only him. Enhanced by his shining personality, winning him the adoration of trainers across the region. Uh, everyone, no look, yo, those ladies are swooning over he is him. The most prominent trainer in all of Galar. Mm. The champion has a younger brother who also happens to be one of your rivals. Oh, really? His name is Hop. Hop and Leon. Hop dreams to one day become champion just like his elder brother, and he trains vigorously every day towards this goal. Yo, what'd you pick? Okay, his he's good in my book. So uh, well, his blue shirt says yours. it all. Okay. On your journey, you and Hop will receive a great deal of support from these two characters. Oh, is the professors? Professor Magnolia is the professor of the Galar Magnolia. region and specializes in researching the Dynamax phenomenon. Okay. Sonia is her granddaughter and also serves as her assistant. Probably like their everyone's wife all of a sudden. Sound advice will surely come in handy throughout Insta your adventure. Insta <laughs> waifu. Nice. These are the gym battles, I, the gym arenas, I assume. See the camera. Next, I would like to talk about the Pokemon gyms in the Galar region. Nice. 
Because you and your rival will need to take on the Pokemon gyms throughout the region in order to achieve your goal of becoming No wonder champion. they're so big, because your Pokemon become skyscraper size. These are constructed in very special locations that allow for Pokemon to be Dynamaxed. Yeah, exactly. The gym leaders also have extremely powerful Dynamax Pokemon on their teams. <laughs> like so a giant flower. With some of your own. Rookie gang, where you at? <laughs> Battles between two Dynamax Pokemon are explosive and will yeah. cause the energy and excitement in the stadium to reach its peak. <laughs> will cause the energy and excitement to kill all of the pa all of the spectators. Let me introduce one of the gym leaders to you. All right, this freaking this, this is the grass type expert Milo. This absolute unit of a man. This gym leader is all about enjoying battles alongside his trustworthy Pokémon. Jesus, you will have to look at those biceps, his dude. Fighting style <laughs> to continue your journey. Beefy man Milo. <laughs> Look Where's forward his to nose? facing many more heated battles against gym leaders over the course of your adventure. <clears throat> We've shown off quite a bit today. Yeah, you really did. We but got one more? I have one more video I would like you to oh, see. Oh, gimme! Please take a look. Alright, this is it. What is it? Oh! Animation? What? Not actual game footage. What? Oh! Is these the legendaries? The shield legendary! Okay, let's see what- Oh no! I'm getting sword! Yo, I'm getting sword! Fuck shield! Yo, that's literally Grey Wolf Sith! I'm getting Pokemon sword now. I'm getting Pokemon sword now. Fuck Pokemon shield! Get out of here! <laughs> that is so cool! What? Yo, I'm naming him Sif on top of the that. The two Pokemon you saw in the video just now are in fact legendary Pokemon of the Galar region. Oh, I'm getting Pokemon Zashian Sword. and Zamazenta. Zashian and Zamazenta. Look forward to discovering for yourself just what role Zashian and Zamazenta will play in the story. Holy shit, dude. If it wasn't, dude, I hope you he looks just Pokemon like Sif. Direct. Oh yeah, I'm getting, course, yeah, I'm getting sword now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> just a small part of what you will find in I mean, Pokemon I said that at the beginning. Pokemon I was Shield. like, maybe the legendaries will change my mind. There are many more Pokemon and interesting characters for you to discover in the gallery. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for this game now. We're putting everything we got date. here Release at Game date. Freak into making Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield a Release game date. that everyone around the world <laughs> will enjoy. Wow. They're still working on Please it. Please look forward to it. Release date? Thanks to all of our guests from Game Freak. Nice. Finally, oh. I would like to announce the oh. release date. Yes! Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. November 15th. November 15th, 2019. Nice. As a global simultaneous Global release. simultaneous Starting today, release. You can pre-order a special double pack. What? Stay tuned for more information. Oh no! I hope you I only have look one forward switch, though. to a new Pokemon <laughs> adventure in the Galar region. Oh wow! Thank you for watching. GG. New Pokemon, new mechanics, legendaries revealed, box art revealed, release date. Wow, that was freaking awesome! Holy shit, that was really good. We got new, and we got new Pokemon too. So we didn't get the the evolutions of the starters, which is understandable. I I personally would prefer to to wait maybe a little longer. I want to see them before I make my decision on which one I want because I'm still torn between Sobble and and Score Bunny. But we got further gameplay. So right, we're basically playing in the Breath of the Wild lands, doing Destiny raids with Pokemon, and that's like the coolest combination ever. Damn, dude. I didn't. I never thought we'd see an open world Pokemon game. And then it's up to four player raid co-op. Not to mention like online battles, online trading. Holy crap. That was great. The dynamo thing, I it's it's a three turn mechanic. So I I you know it's not like uh like mega evolutions. I guess it's a new a new take on that. Um obviously every game needs to be different, but you know, Dynamaxing. Just depends on when you use it. I kind of like that it only lasts three turns. It's your trump card, and then that's it. So, um, you know, it, it's as different as it needs to be. Again, I haven't played Pokemon since Gen 3, so 
this is new to me and I, I welcome it. I love all the Pokemon, even ones that I that I don't really know that well. Um, on top of the four that they showed that the the what's it what was that bird? I, I don't remember the names already, obviously, but the bird Pokemon and the sheep Pokemon I really liked. And I'm literally abandoning Team Shield. I have to go with my boy Great Wolf Sif. Um I, I got, or I might get the double pack and just get both of them and just find someone else. My neighbor has a switch and I'll just swap Pokemon. Uh, my friend lives next door to me. And I'll just swap all my, po I'll get both Pokemon on both, uh, for both gens, depending on which one he gets. But Corviknight, yeah, that's the one. Dude, it's literally murder birds. That's literally my me in Pokemon form. <laughs> yeah, so I guess pre-orders are going to be available pretty soon for Sword, Shield, and the double pack. Um, and it comes out November 15th. By then, Ruby will be, like, a few weeks in. So, um, I'll just have to find a way if, when I'll be able to kind of implement streaming on top of, uh, of Ruby content. Because Ruby will have already started by then. But I thought this was very satisfying. This was incredibly satisfying. New Pokemon, new mechanics. We get to see, like, the scope of the world. The legendaries, the gym battles, some new characters. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And it was only 15 minutes. Now I get to watch everyone's reactions on this as well as re-watching it and um, seeing what everyone thinks and, you know, everyone's take on the game. Pre-orders are available right now. Yeah, I'm probably going to go and pre-order pretty soon then. But goddamn, I cannot wait for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Absolutely cannot wait. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Dude, I can't even imagine the Twitter memes right now. The Twitter memes are going to give me so much life. After the first direct, that was that was awesome. Like Grookey Gang and like Pokemon Sword, Shield, and Gun. Like, <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. I'm so excited.